hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition. <laughs> uh, my weapons, I gotta beat out my weapons, look. I almost wonder what the game would be like if it like didn't allow you even, it's, well, it's, well, it's, well, it's, well, I wish I could talk. Um, it's what they do in Mass Effect 2 and 3 is they don't allow you to have access to all the weapons, you're restricted to your class's weapons. Like, I would only have access to shotguns and pistols and stuff. I wonder what Mass Effect 1 would be like. <laughs> Probably not much different, but... It almost feels a little cluttered to me, on myself. So I think that's why they... Why they take it away from you. Maybe not. Maybe they just, but like, yeah. But maybe they take away the temptation or something. Let's go. Sometimes I forget you can do you can press X straight in the Normandy. You don't have to go to the map to do that. Um, so we completed that. No, I'm not doing the main mission. Leave me alone. Hostage. Fanatics in the Hades Gamma. Is that where we are? They've kidnapped the chairman of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies and hold up in the derelict station. I should be I should be a gift for that. It does require a certain amount of, um... Is that this one? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't pay attention to which system it is. He... Aha! It is. First, we must, we must scan. Ooh, pretty! It's a hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of chlorine and nitrogen. Chlorine is what makes it green. It has an unusually small number of moons for a gas giant, a mere seven. This is no doubt due to the star of Baronita capturing the majority of the mass of the nebular collapse that created the system. Whoops! See, I, every now and then, <laughs> they mixed up, like, uh, they, they, I think they've, they've only made it, they've made it consistent now, but it used to be that in some of them, I can't remember if it was one or two or what, but exit and zoom were switched. Anyway, every now and then it messes me up. Light metal. Guantamo. It's a small broiling terrestrial broiling terrestrial world that far out. Thin atmosphere carbon dioxide and the end is being steadily blown off. The surface scorching hot, sulfur with deposits of copper. The Alliance Defense Data Network notes that several ships have been spotted cruising near Shintama with transponders turned off. While an Alliance patrol attempted a pursuit of one, the unidentified vessel rabbited to FTL. Its trail was lost when it obscured its light trace in the confusion of signals along the Anansi Ishtar shipping lane. Uh oh. Brothian data disk. It revealed a derelict freighter, mid stage orbital decay. We boarded the vessel and determined it had been attacked by raiders. There was very little of value still on board, but they somehow left behind a Brothian data disk. Okay. combination of features. Nipnu is of particular interest to the scientific community. It's a small terrestrial planet, thin atmospheric carbon dioxide and krypton. As with all the worlds of Farinata, its surface is scorching hot. The crust mainly consists of silicates laced with iron. Yay. Where's the other? Oh no, I got it. Did I get them all? Yeah, I did. It has two asteroid belts. Oh boy, it's making a hard burn for the cover and asteroid cluster. Not so fast, Buckaroo. Alright, who do we have? Caden and Rex. The thing is, is every, every time I've taken Cake now, in all my years, even when I'm not playing on Insanity, the man always dies. So does Garrus. <laughs> I just can't keep them alive. What's that? No, 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 no please. Um. Oh. Okay, alright. 
Not bad, not bad. I like it. Caden's only light armor, right? Yeah, only. Poor Caden. Nope, okay. Let's go, squad. No more goodies. Does everybody have their correct weapon equipped? For heaven's, heaven's sake. This is the ship of, um, yeah, the biotic terrorists, as it's so helpfully. Oh my gosh, she got caught on Intruders, like. <gasps> what? Damn, no, Kate, I need you to get back up. I need you to get back up so I can use your ability. Frick. Won't get me next time. Won't get me next time. Oh my gosh, it's a bunch of biotics. This is the worst. Kate can't even stand up. Where's that woman? Is she dead? Barrier. Kate can't even stand up. What is going on? Why can't I do any damage to her? Oh my gosh, this is actually the worst. All that stuff. Oh my gosh, I should not. <laughs> um. Okay. See how it is? You write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish the charade? Please. Or... I was trying to help you people. Or we just calm down. Let's not do anything we're all gonna regret. Why not? What have we got to lose? Since the chairman here decided that we didn't get reparations, we've got nothing left to live for. But I've changed my mind. Seeing you all, it, it's, it's clear that you all deserve- Yeah, uh -huh. You had your chance. Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants, but you voted against reparations. It's tr I I understand their frustration, completely this man is obviously just doing like he doesn't care about the people like he doesn't care about the biotics themselves like he cares only about like the political machinations and like saving money on the budget you know but they're talking about reparations for stuff like what Caden went through you know um and the l2s specifically like all the l2s specifically like had horrible side effects and or at least a lot of them did, and they had to go through some terrible stuff while they were basically using them as guinea pigs. So yes, they deserve reparations, you know? Think about this. Burns is the one man who can help you. Yes, if you release me, I can take another look at the I reparations. I wouldn't trust right. this man as far what? as I could throw supposed him. To trust you? Which is pretty far. I'm an altar yes! like you. Trust me. The commander can make sure that Burns follows through. Sure, you promise us freedom and say everything will be fine, but as soon as we surrender, you'll double-cross us. 
that's my thing, right? Like these pol- like anybody in the situation would say anything to keep themselves alive, you know. But it's as soon as they're like out, they'd be like, "Yeah, hey, I actually kill them all for holding me hostage, you know, or you put them all in jail or something, you know." Like, that's what would actually happen. I think in this one, and that's outcome. This guy goes, "Oh, I actually do see how damaged like these people have become, you know, or whatever." It's like your whole job in the first place was to like talk to these people and like not just look at like reports, but even looking at the reports, you could see how bad things are. Anyway. I think I've brought Caden on this once before, but I did want to bring him to this one specifically because I, because of he is the only person who gets to say anything biotic-ish out of everybody. Uh, and this one is specifically about Eltus. I'm not promising to let you go. All I'm saying is that Burns will take another look. Right, Burns? <laughs> Absolutely. I had no idea that the L2 biotics were this desperate. If I'd known, the reparations will come. For whatever it's worth, I promise that. You're right. I don't want to die. Maybe something will happen this time. We surrender. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took well, me. Well, you kind of deserve I'll it. I'll see to it that the reparations discussion is reopened. I didn't know they were so desperate. I wonder what this is going to do. Then you weren't doing it. Yeah, job. there we go. A fifth fleet cruiser will pick you and the prisoners up. See, that's my, that's what I wanted. Like, that's what I was going to say in real life, right? It's like your job as like the person in charge of the committee or whatever was to talk to these people and see what was going on. And that you obviously didn't do that. You just like read some reports and like called it good and you were like, nah. Maybe if I just keep doing this, something will happen. Eh. Oh, it was so close. I actually would have gotten it that time. Oh, I actually just meant to override. <gasps> Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. Maybe next time you do your job properly. Not that that's, like, worth the death threat, necessarily, but it's like, you know... Mm, nope, nothing. Nope. Which way? So many things... Sorry, there's a couple ships we get to do. One of them has a quarter that's like all like a completely glass floor and it's really cool. Kinetic buffer. Alright, let's Energize Weave, nice, okay, maybe we give Caden Yes. What was his? He could do more with a cooldown, medical interface, or the damage protection. Let's see that one. Again. Armor. Psh. Psh. I gave you a blading, a bladed coating at least. Actually, Caden was having a really hard time with the biotics. If we give him, yes, and me. I don't like. like being pushed around. <laughs> oh, let's check. Sure. Oh, 
I get I get first pick of the shotguns. Ho oh, ho the katana. Rex would like the katana. Caden can look at pistols first. Holy moly. Maybe I should have taken that one, but he mostly, I just have him stick with pistols, so he'll get a good pistol. Uh, la, 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 yeah. I don't want to look at any of the other upgrades. All right, everybody. Be good. I just had to kill a bunch of people in here. You can, uh, you can knock these around. It's always fun. There's what well, there's a couple on the sh on ships like this, <laughs> as you can tell. I get bar I get lost. They ba they make it a maze on purpose. It offers cover and you know lets you freaking hide. But I think it's also designed to mess me up when I'm panicking. Did I go in here? Is this, oh, this is where, see? I have no idea where I am. I gotta go straight across, I'm pretty sure. So, well, here we go. Caden's gonna die. Poor man, he just can't catch a break, really. Uh, that was, that was easy peasy. Da -da 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 Signs of battle, sorry, writing Cerberus. Hmm. The Yangtze system in the Voyager cluster. Oh, really quick, actually. Four to seven. The Solarian Solar ones I always get, like, last. I don't know, they, they're harder to find. Only... Freaking rare earth. Heavy me- That's it? That's all I've gotten so far? Oh my gosh. Where's the start? Four out of ten or start. That's it? Where's the freaking Turian ones? Yeah, they are. Ah, oh, I'm not even close. To any of them. Alright, I was distracted. Uh... Gang scene, the Voyager cluster. Message coming in. <gasps> Patching it through. Thank you for dealing with the hostage situation, Commander. No problem, Admiral. Chairman Burns was quite impressed by the way you resolved the situation peacefully. <laughs> Your assistance above and beyond the formal duties has been noted, Commander. Fifth fleet out. I deserve a promotion after all of this. I know because Commander Shepard sounds really cool. Like, the name itself is like, you know, you don't necessarily want to change it, but... You never get a promotion in this game. In this series. Oh, shoot. What was that? Oh, la 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 la. Nope. 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 Was it? I think it was the Voyager, yeah. In the Yangtze system. Amazon. And the Mississippi. It's all, it's all the long rivers in the world. I don't really know where the Mississippi River ran. I used to know stuff like that. Geography stuff. I was obsessed with it. Right. Hot Jupiter. Yeah, because usually they're a little further out. They're not usually this close. Oh, the shrubs of Garrick. Blah, 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 blah. It's pretty. Been through it. Maybe we can land there. Atmosphere of carbon dioxide at the permanent haze of toxic chlorine and clouds of silver dioxide <laughs> who drop, that drops acidic rain on the surface. Wow. The crust is composed mainly of sulfur with deposits of calcium. <laughs> okay. Uh, Binthu has only been charted in the last 20 years by Alliance surveyors. There's no known native ecology data, but the world is surprisingly brief and generic, painting a picture of an unpleasant and uninteresting place. Well, au contraire. I'll room, I'll room ter. 
It's a small place, the nitrogen krypton. Frozen pneumonia. I think that makes it purple. I don't know. It might be the krypton that makes it purple. Krypton uh, xenon, frigid, is a weak magnetic field survey. Patagiri. Survey. Rare element. No, it's a rare element. Silica. During a long cold night, the chlorine in the atmosphere falls to the ground in the form of frost. You forget sometimes, at least I do, that other elements like that can uh, freeze. Just not very, uh, not very easily. I do love this loading screen. We had Caden. Because if I'm bringing out the squishy boy, I need to bring out the beefy boy. Look at that flawless landing. Oh, Meryl. Off we go. I know usually by the end of the game, or by, by the near end of the game, I go on a whole, like, hours worth of trawling around for minerals. <laughs> Just, like, looking them up on Google. Like, a massive list of, like, where to find stuff. Because uh, I think, it, for me, for some of them, it gets to the point where, like, I do need to actually find um... Like, you just gotta, like, go from planet to planet. Like, you can't, I'm pretty sure you can't survey all of your minerals. Like, you need, you need to land on a planet, on several planets, to get all the minerals that you need to finish it up. Have I landed here already? I haven't. Anyway, why am I here? Uh, I don't, oh yeah, this is a Cerberus one. <gasps> Did I want to bring... Yeah, no, Caden will be... Caden actually might have been good for this one, but Caden... It's very rare, I think. Not, it's very uncommon to have your companions comment on anything that's, like, specific to them. Like, sometimes, like, if you, whatever teammate you have with you will, will comment on things. Usually in a pair. This is the one where, how many? I think, I don't know, I might, I might be out of grenades. I don't really know how to get them. I thought I think in not insanity mode. It uh replenishes you at your ship. Alas. I have one one granat and oh is this not the creeper one? It I know that they're arachni. Okay, maybe I'm thinking of the wrong one. Let's try cryo explosive. Not that we're gonna freaking. It. It's like, oh look, it's just like one or two in there, little tiny. I think they're rachni. They're rac right? Oh jeez, I didn't. See Nope. Uh, I was like, I was like, you see all these red marks, but there's actually nothing there. I don't think. Uh, yeah, he doesn't have um, the antibiotic ones. Oh, wait. 
give me the shotgun. Oh, he went into the shield. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay. There's so many of you. Oh, my gosh. Cease. Oh, no. Oh, I was gonna throw her. Actually, I said that. Ow, 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 ow. I can't free fire. <laughs> Why are there so many of you? to us. Great, here we go. Looks like Cerberus has other bases on this world, Commander. Oh boy. And that, that I think that opens up that room. Just give me a second. Alright. Is this not maybe it is. It's just gonna take it's gonna I thought this was the one where yeah. The one. We have to find the one where Spoilers ish. Um, well, it is spoilers for this little mini mission, but where Kohoku is. We gotta find him. Oh my gosh. I thought this was, thought this was a person for a second or something. Like, it looked like Ashley first. I was like, oh my gosh, what's she doing here? This planet does not look like it's made of sulfur, I gotta say. I mean, I know that's not the only thing on the planet. It's freaking carbon dioxide and all kinds of crap. Research... Let's go to the debris first. Um, but right now, it's the end of the video. So, you know what that means? It's time to say thank you to my patrons. <laughs> so, um, uh, thank you to Scalamonger. I'm changing it up a little bit. Thank you so much, Scalamonger. I really appreciate your support at the sampling level. Mucho appreciado. And also thank you to uh, Riscalito, who is also a sampling. Thank you so much. And a special thank you to Christopher, who is a tree tier patron. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. You guys are very helpful. You d I, it's really exciting. <laughs> so thank you for being a part of this. I appreciate it a lot. Um, but yes, thank you so much to everybody for watching. I appreciate all your support and I hope to see you in the next one.